channel. So if today is another episode of Talk to Me and oh, but I'm talking to my wonderful, wonderful friend, Ty. I like that you use the nickname. Because I was finna say it. <laughs> we are gonna be talking about her life as a comedian. Okay. And how she go about, you know, dealing with it on social media and having all these things. Because I guess she did it. Now my friend, tell us a little bit about you. Um, I'm gay. I'm a bad bitch. Oh. And I'm that person. I am an all around entertainer, if I could just put it in one word. Like, I do the little comedian, I do actor, I do music. I'm just all around entertaining. Hey, did you always want to be like in the entertainment like industry? Um, no, not really. I was just young and I was kind of like, even at a young age, I was like, just funny. Yeah, I was like, it's me. Yeah. Like, and then people kind of started putting that whole learn to make money when things you love. Mm -hmm. And that's when things started rolling in. And so being in comedy and like you started doing it more often. Were there like specific people like it don't have to be like it could be celebrity wise or like people in general that you kind of looked up to in that aspect. Oh yeah, for sure. The person that I look up the most like is these two people is Pretty V and that, yeah, she's, she's funny. Not only is she funny, but as a woman, I like where she's going. Because mm -hmm. I, I look up to Drewski, but as a man, I feel like there are different opportunities for yeah. a man and a woman. So that's why I look at both of them. Because if I can put it in words, what they're doing, where they're going is how I want to reflect my career. You feel like between B and Drewski, do you feel like female comedians don't be getting that spotlight like they need to? I feel like um we do get the spotlight but we have to work 10 times harder and i think that's just with anything in life because there's the race barrier and then oh, there's yeah. the gender barrier and let me just add gay in there so it's just, oh yeah so it's like it's, it's just it's possible but it's a lot of work that you need to maintain mm -hmm. before you see that going off of your content you make a lot a lot of videos with like real real broad topics mm -hmm. Um, between all the videos, like, who is your main audience? Like, who are you trying to, like, make the videos for? I'm not even gonna lie, many people ask me that, and I do not know. Like, because at first it was, like, uh, from, like, what I was seeing, it was, like, you college students was more related to yeah. what you was putting out. And then it was, like, it got broader. And so now it's, like, people in the African-American community be like, oh, if you hear uh, gospel music on a Sunday, you know oh, you're yeah. to get up and clean. Oh, oh, okay, if you speaking that, then it's definitely black people. Yeah, I thought you were looking for an age. I was like, bro. Oh no, not no age. Oh, uh, because I be having like grandmas DM mm. me and shit. I be like, oh, look at their little family. Like, I was like, who gave her Instagram? Like, mm. like shit like that. But the audience is definitely African American. I because that's the only race I've been with, and I hate to be this person, but I've never had a white friend or so. That's. I mean, it's not really like your forte, ain't you? Yeah, like. I've never really been drawn to them because mm -hmm. I feel like I'm not gonna explain mm -hmm. everything to you, so I just kind of just I mean, like if you know, you know, yeah. So I'm like, just hang out with people that's me, yeah. So, and when you be doing these skits, you be being somebody's mama, somebody's daddy, these little friends. This is like what? What gave you the idea to like make these characters? Bruh, I'm not gonna lie, it was trial and error. Cause at first, I don't know what I was doing. At first, I was just there mm -hmm. and just making things go. But as time went on, I kind of developed, wanted to pick up acting. So the best way I could pick up acting is, like you said, develop characters. So I had to kind of go in a box mm -hmm. like of memories or things. Where, like you just said, um, when you hear music Sunday morning, you mm -hmm. already know. Too. But that's like a memory we all have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we had, I started having to go in the box and like, what can I do? Mm -hmm. And that's how things transpired. Yeah, so it was like, you kind of used like stuff that came in from your background and was like, I know I'm not the only one that can yeah. relate to this. Knowing somebody else can probably did this same thing. Somebody else mama that did this same thing. It's like, you gonna understand what I'm saying. Right. right. That my first video that ever went like viral over uh, Instagram. Mm -hmm. Cause I, it was so hard for me for Instagram, sorry. Mm -hmm. But it was the fourth parent trading kids. Oh, the trading the kids. Yeah, at the mix down the parking lot. And I was, bro, me and was, my senior is my older sister. Mm -hmm. She's only a year older than me. I said it cause I got another one. Mm -hmm. But um, we was talking about it, I was like, bro, that is so funny. And then I just made a video about it. And then next thing you know, I realized all of us yeah. share that shit. And I was like, okay, let's see what else I can do. 
Yeah. And that's where, that's where it kind of like, okay, I can do something with this. And you kind of like, you touched on acting a bit. So like, do you see yourself wanting like an acting career in comedy or do you want to like just stick to comedy and end up just doing stand up later on? Bro, I got this, um, I am working on a short film with this young lady. She reached out to me in Houston and we just been working every day on that short film. Mm -hmm. I did do previous short films, but for some reason, every time it just, something goes wrong but i have been trying to get more into it build up my reels and things like that mm -hmm. um but if i would ever do acting i would like to touch more on i would say like uh kevin hart like uh -huh. he started off as comedy but he eventually started being more emotional yeah i feel like as an entertainer i want to pick a character i want to portray in the story because mm -hmm. i feel like if you stick in one box you're going to stay in one yeah, yeah, yeah. And that can, you can miss out a lot of opportunities, and I never want to do that. Yeah, like in the process, like it's like I could still be this, right. but I can definitely broaden my range. Right. So it's like if you needed me to portray this evil person, I can definitely do this. But why is Wynn so fucking strong? I'm sorry, I'll touch it. I'm sorry. Oh, did you just. I know, I'm saying like this. <laughs> I smell good. Wait, what is that? Win the movie. I said you smell good. What is that? This nigga said win the movie. Win the movie. I can see that. Like that could be like a scary movie. Yeah. Oh, did you hear the movie? I'm sorry, I'm off subject. Oh, Tiana, Tiana got a movie coming out. Today. I saw. It. Is it on Prime or is it this? It's Prime. Prime bed. I got my sister. So while you are making these videos, like, do you have a specific process? Like once you figure out, like, okay, this is what I I'm gonna make this video about. Like, what is your process of like putting everything together? So um, sometimes I forget things. I'm just getting old. So what I do is, say if we talking right now, mm -hmm. and an uh, idea just pop up, mm -hmm. I will go to my notes and write it down briefly. Mm -hmm. And when I'm ready to record, from that brief notes, I can kind of pick up from where I left off. Right. So it's just it's just about um, writing, like just jogging my memory, writing things down, and then improvise from there. Oh, you don't have to make like no skit. I used to, but then I feel like when I made skits, I just felt more and more not really into the character. Like not genuine. Yeah, so I realized, but this is, like I said, it comes with trial and error. I realized once I improvise, that's when things start flowing. And the video will be long, but of course I, it'll be like, the video will be like a minute long. And then like after you like cut it and all that, it'll be like, like six seconds. Yeah, like 30 seconds. It was like, um, but in different orders, mm -hmm. what I found matched the character I was trying to portray. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, out of all the, I'm sorry. Out of all the many, many, many videos, like from start to finish, that you have made, out of all of them, what would be your favorite? Oh, uh, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be real, like, bro. I'm not even gonna lie. I would look. Okay, so the process is, I would look at these videos, back up. I would write them. Oh, uh -huh. the improvised. I would write them, do them, edit them, see it. So it's like I would see this video over and over and over to the point that I just get tired of looking at it. Uh -huh. So it was like. It's not so I don't have a favorite, it's just like, it's kind of one of those things you ever listen to a song so so much that your favorite song, you be like, oh, yeah, right. it's still good, but mm -hmm. let's leave that alone. Mm -hmm. But um, I would have to I would have to say only the parent because it would got me all my followers. Mm -hmm. But, uh. <laughs> <laughs> have you had any fan encounters? Oh yeah, yes I did, and it was, um, I don't want to say weird, but it was something I like had, unexpected. There you go. It was very mm -hmm. unexpected. Different time. I, I think the the weirdest one because the ones where I have in San Antonio here or in Houston, I feel like it doesn't really face me because I live there. Yeah. But when I had one in Alabama, that's when I was like, okay. Yeah, you realize like how broad. Yeah, I was like, okay, this is going somewhere. Mm -hmm. So um, that's when it happened. I was um. Majority of the time, my girlfriend would be with me. Mm -hmm. um, so we was at Chick Fil A, and we was just ordering food. We hungry, and she's like, "Oh my God, you're tired." Da, da, da. And she was like, and then another person later on that um, week, because we were there for like two weeks, I think. Mm -hmm. And she was like, "Hey, I just seen your girlfriend at the um, Chick Fil A," and I was like, "Yeah." It was just more so, of, damn. Because mm -hmm. in my head, I always thought I was local. Mm -hmm. But to see other states, or when somebody would DM me from like, what the fuck? I think the the furthest state was I don't think the state it was a country, but it was um <laughs> it was Africa. <laughs> a 
the other one was French, but I can't pronounce it. I'm not even gonna embarrass myself. Ooh, French. I'm not even gonna embarrass myself. That's big. French. They they buy me a flight. Takes this girl's like. Buy me a flight. If you want French, that's that's a language. See, I'm already. If you from French, that's a language though. You said oh. you French. <laughs> you buy me a ticket. I want to go to. You want to go to French? I'm not gonna. You see, like, you post on your TikTok, your Instagram, Twitter, pretty much all your good little social media. What would you say kind of boosted more your people watching you? Or, like, brought you more attention to get you, like, uh, out here? I didn't tackle all my apps yet. Like, with that, what I'm saying, I'm tackling, like, I didn't, like, I can't post on all my apps and go viral on all of them. Right. Two apps that really, like, pushing my face out there is TikTok and Instagram. Mm -hmm. But of course, I'm trying to get all platforms so you can have different aspects of me. Right. So like people like, oh, I know her from da 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 da, but they can still kind of know who I am at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. Being in the industry, you've dealt with like we discussed like you getting them fan base. Sorry. You discussed getting that fan base, being noticed like that. Have you ever dealt with the negative aspect of it? Yet? Like you get the negative comments or like the people being like, this ain't even funny. Oh, bro, for sure. But I don't consider that negative. I just consider that like, nigga, everybody. I'm not like feedback. No, not even feedback. Well, yeah, it could be feedback, but it's, yeah, like semi feedback, cause it's not really feedback if you can't really, you can't say it's not funny. Like, what is it not funny? Why mm -hmm. is it not? Like, that's not really feedback. You just saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's funny time. But um, no, I I don't take negative comments um bad because at the end of the day it is the internet, yeah. which means everybody's not gonna have the same opinion. Exactly. So no, I haven't. Receive anything negative. Period. What the fuck was that? That was period. period. I like that. I'm gonna start doing it. That's See, you're gonna have to give me my credit. Okay, okay, fine. It's the hard Because it's like you holding a sandwich, but not with your thumbs. So, here. Hmm. Who the fuck holds a sandwich like this? What the fuck sandwich they eat? A ham and cheese. Why'd you take a bite? There's no sandwich. Alright. <laughs> and being in the um, industry of like entertainment, what have you learned? Like being in it for so long? Bro, the, to be real, I'm gonna say this is my first year in it. Only because um like actually like Yeah, being in it. Like, yeah, because I would this is I literally told my girlfriend I wanna do it uh mm -hmm. this year. And that's when all the interviews and stuff started coming. So I don't know shit, but I know a little bit. Yeah. So you feel like once you put that foot forward, it was like everything just kind of like yeah. started coming in. Yeah, you got to get into that mindset of even though you're a creator, you're a business. If you want to put yourself out there, you got to do more than social media. Right. Uh, I told... I told my girlfriend, I was like, I gotta be out there more. Meaning, um, if there was no social media, how the fuck would somebody know me? Exactly. So that's when I started reaching out for more interviews and just getting on different platforms to kind of bring in different type of audience and just see what else I could do. I don't know, like I said, I don't know all the answers, but I'm just trying to get somewhere and just- Yeah, like it's a start. Me. Yeah. Like, cause it really did put you like, once you started like actually realizing like, this is what I want to do. It was like it them doors just opened. Yeah. And it was like, okay, well now that we're saying like you're you're taking this serious, we wanna bring you to this or right. we wanna invite you to this or this and this is coming up if you wanna come. Somebody was to come up on you and say, like, you know, I wanna do the same thing you're doing. I wanna make content like that. I wanna become a comedian. I want to become an actor. I wanna make videos, I wanna make skits. What advice would you give them? Chance the rapper, he said something that I like. And he was like, a lot of people ask me, when do your career starts when you become a musician? He said, the first time you pick up something, like we want to say a notepad or a pen, that's when your career starts. When you decide to, hey, I want to do this. So my advice is if you want to get into the entertainment, business, industry, whatever you want to call it, just do it. It's okay to not um, know all the answers or not know if you want to do it because yes. we grow and as we grow, things change. Mm -hmm. So my thing I would say is just give it a try. And if you really want to do it, really fulfill it. See where you can fit, see where you can go and just go from there. Cause I can give you all the advice in the world, but my path is not gonna be your path. Yeah, just like put that foot forward. Yeah, basically just do it, honestly, Nike, period. Oh, I love it. Not sponsored, I promise. Yeah, yeah. But where can our lovely, lovely people 
find you on social media? Um, you can find me. Bitch, I'm here. Oh, you can find me at um three three four baby, and that's on Instagram. On Twitter, it's underscore three three four baby. TikTok, this is not three three four baby. Facebook, three three four baby. Either or, do you get what I'm saying? It's three three four baby. You can you get there. Like, uh, if you find one. I, basically, I was like, there's something in the link, just click it, it literally has all, everything you're looking for. And that pretty much wraps up this interview. Thank and, you so much for oh, friend. You're welcome. What are you doing? I was about to do this. And scene. Thank y'all so much for watching the video. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is very, very appreciated. And I'll see y'all next time.